Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here. So, I thought I would do a video in regards to the babies. So, um, I wanted to share with you guys, because people really think like, oh, we're crazy, and we play with dolls, and blah, 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 blah. In this video, I wanted to show you, or explain to you, or tell you, or talk to you about what I've learned and what cha and, and how the babies have changed me as a better person. So, I thought that I would share this information with you guys. And maybe you guys can tell me the different things that you've learned. And you might not have learned them if the babies never came into your life. So here goes. Um, I first got into Reborns. Uh, back in 2012. So, the first year I didn't really do too much. Like, I was doing more research about the babies. This was new to me. Got onto YouTube, started doing YouTube videos, which back then for me kind of like was crappy because I really wasn't good at it yet. Still need a lot of work doing that. But, anyways, um,. And then uh, I started buying one Reborn after another, after another, and I just said, wait a minute, this is too expensive. I am an artist, why don't I try and buy the actual kits and try and Reborn for myself? Give myself like six months to see if I can do it. And I enjoyed it. And I learned, I kept learning and learning and learning, and I love to learn about everything. And I think the following year, it's either 2013 or 2014 I got into uh, full body silicone babies. I think it was shortly after the reborns. It didn't, like, the reborns didn't last that long. It was more the silicone babies. Um, but I think it was 2014 because that's when I got um, Cola. And I think he was one of my first full body silicone babies. So I don't know. I'd have to actually look to see which babies I got first. But anyways, um... I wanted to share with you things that I've learned in the last five years that I wouldn't have learned without the babies. That I can take on with me for the rest of my life. So, first thing that I'm sure you guys are very well aware of is I love medicine. No matter what it is, I've always loved medicine. Anything regarding to medical whatever. So, the first thing that I really got into with the babies was understanding or educating myself, watching YouTube videos, doing the research about NICU babies. I really was interested and wanted to know. Never been in a NICU, never, you know, been in a delivery area or anything like that. So, um... But I always loved babies, and I've always been into medical stuff. So I've learned a lot about, ba you know, different medical stuff. Um, I've ed got educated in regards to needles, and, you know, how the gauges work. And, I mean, this helped when Dennis got sick. This information helped when I started testosterone, because people weren't talking to me I knew what they were talking about. You tell me a gauge, I knew that that gauge was a big gauge, or that gauge was a small gauge, or, you know, I did my research years ago. So I learned that the, 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 actually, the smaller the number, the bigger the gauge needle. So if it's a 16, that's a huge needle. If it's a 21, it's still big, but it's smaller than a 16. And if it's a 25, that's smaller than a 21. So... And I bought all these needles off of, off of eBay before, so I really educated myself about needles, and yeah, I've always been into like phlebotomy and all that, anything medical, right? Okay, so what have I learned in regards to, you know, besides medical stuff? Because I just keep learning all the time, and as you know, I even make medical equipment and medical stuff for these babies. So, and I do sell them. Um, I think I'm going to probably just try and stick mostly to the miniature stuff, but I do have some sets that I will be making for the bigger babies. But anyways, 
what other things have I learned that I wouldn't have maybe learned or done other than that? So, a few things. When I got into the silicone babies, I think that's when I started getting into... No, actually, I think it might have been a little before then. So, I started, you know, realizing that there's a such thing as cloth diapers. And... I was looking at these cloth diapers because I remember cloth diapers when I was a kid, but we never used those. But only weird people were using those back then, and we were talking like the regular prefolds and the '80s style plastic whatever over it, and that's gross. But the diapers that were being made in you know, after 2010, we're talking, these are really cool diapers. Like, the designs are cool, the fabric is cool, the everything about it was cool, and it's like, how bad could this be? So, I started getting into collecting these cloth diapers for these babies, but I kept doing my research, understanding fabrics, or understanding what works better, or what needs to be stripped, or what is better to use that you don't have to wash or do as much treatment or whatever so I've spent four or five years educating myself just about cloth diapers so what is there something that I would never have done if it wasn't for these babies and for understanding cloth diapers well I probably never would have got into reusable toilet paper so I don't I haven't used toilet paper since 2014 I hate using toilet paper now toilet paper for a female body is just not not a good thing. It's gross, it makes you stink, it's just, I hate it. I prefer actually having this, you know, the reusable ones with me if I could, and maybe if I ever get the balls enough to do that, I will. Um, it's just having something that you'd have to carry around with and all that stuff, so. I'm really not into carrying anything right now. Um, but, definitely would love to figure a way to do something anyways um but I definitely use them at home it's really not that hard you wash them I mean I've had the same ones I, I would like to get some more but um I've been I haven't I think maybe I paid a hundred bucks and a hundred bucks has lasted me over four, four years three years three years and and there's different ways that you can do it. Like, you can just do them with baby washcloths. You can do actual fabric. You can make them yourself. Like, there's just so many different types of ways you can do it. Um, you can do them with towels and just, you know. So, um, yeah, it could be anything, really. Um, so, I would not have probably got into that. Also, I got into uh, reusable paper towels and I don't think I ever would have even been remotely interested ever uh, if I didn't get into the babies and the cloth diapers like it really just opened a different a total different door so I probably wouldn't have taken the time to educate myself about these types of things um, what else have the babies taught me um, or what other things have I learned through the babies. Uh, I can say the my, the you know it they have definitely brought out my creativity. So I never would have probably had an Etsy shop. I mean that's the honest God's truth. I mean I was making cards before I was making anything baby stuff. So it just the miniature babies especially just really brought out my creativity so I wouldn't have my Etsy shop without them uh, so yeah I mean people think that we just sit here and we're crazy and we're just sitting here playing with our babies but honestly they just give me ideas and I go and I research and um, like right now transitioning this is really really hard and it's been really hard bonding with my babies sadly I do still bond with JV and he's actually behind me in my bed um, but he's also heavy and actually today he wasn't too bad for me so I was able to bring him over here so hopefully we can do a little bit more videos with him um, but um, 
you know, the community is changing, um, not for the better. Um, I'm too much of a guy, I'm really not into drama, so I don't really pay attention to half the stuff that goes on because I just don't have the time or energy for that. But um, it is not easy to sell babies anymore and if I were going to continue to make babies, I probably would be just doing um, either child size or uh, um, toddler size. And for now, I'm just going to do my own. Um, I have no problem making them for other people, but I would just do it at my own comfort level. And I'm hoping that I can start making babies where, like, reborn uh, toddlers, where I can really focus on one at a time and really enjoy making it and putting it together and buying stuff for it and selling it so uh inst some people i think they do like either customs or they make it and they just you know i just i want to be able to enjoy the whole experience again and i think it's been hard between dennis being sick and dying and moving a hundred million times so i don't do very well with change I don't know who else does, but um, change is pretty difficult, and I tried really hard for quite a few months not to sell or make any major decisions, but I need to just keep the door open for new babies, for new opportunities. Um, I do really do like the toddlers, and I like the five-year-old reborns. So, by letting go of some babies, I make room for new adventures and new babies and new whatevers. Um, I don't think I'll ever stop really not being into the babies. Things may change. I may just, you know, certain things about me just may change and I'm okay with that, but... In regards to the babies, I think that I love the creativity that it does for me, and I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Um, and I just need to do things at my own pace, and that's just how it's got to be, I guess. I don't, I mean, there are things I want to make, and I just can't make it fast enough. And you got to be in the mood, and you got to be this, and then life gets in the way, and all that kind of good stuff, so... Um, I don't really know anything else off the top of my head that I've learned other than making product and, you know, the medical stuff and the, you know, the, uh, oh, the other thing that I've, you know, I've gotten really good at, if you guys haven't noticed, is names. So, um... I did a lot of research on names and, you know, and I don't think I never really would have, so... I think by having the babies, I was able to make a more appropriate name for myself because I've been through the whole names with all these other babies. Obviously, I'm not naming myself what my babies are, even though I did like Javian. But I didn't think it was going to make... I don't think it was going to be easy for people to say Javian. And I don't know if I really look like a Javian. So I decided to go with a different name. And everybody so far that I've told has said that they like the name, they think it fits me, blah, blah, blah. So we will see. I still got to look like a boy first, guys, you know. Um, I feel just terrible. So I'm really hoping that testosterone will really start kicking in and get me to look more like a guy and top surgery I think I really start feeling better after top surgery to be really quite honest with you guys so it's just making it until then how's that for an answer um so I'm concerned about top surgery for the after recovery part um but I'm not really gonna stress it too bad i um, hoping that I can just get back into PT after. I know that my back doctor agreed with me 
but didn't want to do anything without asking or making sure that I was clear in the surgeon surgeon end of things and I will ask them you know so but I'm not gonna make too big of a deal of it right then and there I'll probably wait until like six weeks post-op and then be like hey but you know like if you don't want to can I at least have my back doctor like help me get back into there but I'm hoping that they'll get me right back into PT and say like what I can and cannot do and that kind of stuff because I honestly can tell you I couldn't do it on my own um, I mean the things I was doing basically I was like yeah I don't know how to explain it but anyways that's it that's all I had to tell you thank you guys so much for watching um, don't forget to like down below if you found this interesting and informative and let me know what you guys have learned in your experience with having the babies I'm sure it's not the same and have you learned anything or um, the other thing too is I learned a lot about baby products like what to stay away from what is just a waste of money for a real baby like I just learned a lot about baby stuff and to be honest with you if I didn't have these babies these babies actually really prepared me for my own kid like if I ever have my own child um, I don't think I ever would have used cloth diapers but now I think I would only use cloth diapers so um, you know very educational and very helpful and very informative so this is a good pre um, education and gets people to really think about things and stuff um, you know I mean these babies luckily they don't cry and poo and do any of that kind of stuff but it's okay Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here the next time.